I keep hearing people say, hey, Christians need to be in power. Christians need to do this, sir. Is it with this kind of Christianity? With this kind of Christianity is when we'll be in power. A Christianity that is lame, a Christianity that is weak. You think? In this video, we are debunking a Nigerian priest who claims that Christianity can never overpower Islam. That's up next. So let us deep dive now into our show. Welcome back to Somali Christian TV. We are your favorite Somali ex-Muslims exposing that the section of Islam and spreading that Jesus is the only way to heaven. If you're new to us and want to learn more, subscribe now. now and join to Somali Christian TV family. My name is Shania and this is my husband Shino and our lovely daughter Naomi is here. Yes. yes, so yes, the Muslims are spreading this video of this quote-unquote Nigerian priest Viral, you know, from... Yes. Um, I'm not sure what part of Nigeria he's from, but he's, you know, wearing this dress, this bishop dress, and he's talking about how Islam is basically better than Christianity. Yeah. Telling his um, congregation this information mm. and telling them about this story where he went um, on a trip somewhere and he found a church and he went to this church and the pastor and his wife, he asked them, can I sleep in the church? And then the pastor and the wife were arguing or something away from him. And then he decided to go instead to the mosque. He went to the mosque. He said, Assalamu alaikum to the guy. Yes. Which, why would he say that as well? Uh -huh. you know, the as guy as was a, eating as well. And the guy was in the eating. mosque. Yeah. And then the guy apparently welcomed him, let him stay there, whatever, and everything. And then he's saying, how can we overpower this Christianity that is lame and weak? And how, yes. can, we how can we dismantle this force I'd of never, Islam? Yeah. I quickly step out, sir. Is it with that kind of Christianity? We will, is that, we, are you are you thinking we can we can dismantle that force? Our self-centered, self-seeking, self-glorifying Christianity. A Christianity that only thinks about himself. Because they say that. Um, what do they say? Muslim. 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 Yes. yes. So yeah. he was saying, telling the congregation uh, brother, about that. Yeah. What kind of, I don't understand what kind of Christian, this type of, this man, when he's saying, how can we dismantle that force? How can we basically overpower this Islam? How can we be better than that? Is that Christianity, guys? Is no. that Christianity? Is the Bible said, never said to overpower any, any group or any people? No. no. We learn Christianity, that Jesus Christ himself, to be humble and to be yeah. meek. Yeah, yes, that's what in, it is. in James 4.10 in the yes. Bible, it says, Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord and he will lift you up. Amen. Yeah. So humble yourself. That's uh, the teaching from our Lord Jesus Christ. And this man is teaching his congregation, teaching you can never overpower Islam. You have to be strong because you are a little weakling. Calling them what lame and about? weak. A Christianity that is lame. A Christianity that is weak. Yeah. Lame and weak, he's calling for the Christians who love everyone. He doesn't know about Islam. Yeah. We are ex-Muslims, we know how they think, exactly. what they say, and what they are saying even behind the scene. We know how they are. They welcome I, I, a Muslim a brother with the other Muslims. What about the rest of the, of the people? Jesus never said, be only brothers, only Christians. No, he said, love your enemies. Yeah. You're never going to find that verse from the Quran. And Jesus gave us golden rules and said, do others as you want to be done. Yes. It's like a love. This love, the Islam they have, it is only uh, in, uh, temporarily and or also with condition. Yes. We left Islam, we lost all our family. Yeah. We left Islam, we lost all our friends. We left Islam, lost all the community. Ummah. Yeah. All the community, Ummah, they call. What, what kind of uh, love Ummah is that? that? Yeah. With condition, unconditional love. That's Christianity. That's the Bible. That's Jesus Christ. I don't know what he's talking about this man, and I don't know why his name even like a Muslim name. Yeah, is he ex Muslim? Yeah, Yusuf. Why his name is Yusuf? Yeah. Yusuf. Yeah. Uh, we love Nigerian, first of all. We yeah, say we do. shout out to the, our Nigerian brothers and sisters. We love you so much, our viewers who all the time come to us, and we love you guys. But please, let us know. Do you have a, Christians call themselves Yusuf. Muhammad, Yusuf, Ali, Umar? What is coming next? 
I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Or exactly. was he ex-Muslim himself? Exactly. But then if he was ex-Muslim, why would he then go to a mosque as an ex-Muslim? He wouldn't do that. He would no. not do that. No ex-Muslim would yes. never yeah. no. dare yeah. to step foot. Yes. But why he's uh, like a button side by side, he went one church. Not all church did that. Not all Christians uh, disown him. It's only one church, and he said the wife and woman, uh, the husband, started arguing. And he said, "I wasn't staying in their house. I want to sleep the, in, in, in the, the church." church. They argument. He doesn't even know why they did that. Why they arguing in the past? He, yeah. He snuck off and went to the yes. mosque instead. Yes. Why? Why the mosque? Why he didn't go any other Christian's family? And when he go to the mosque, why he making this deception? Why he saying "Salamu alaykum" when you? As a Christian, we don't speak that language. Yeah. If you want to say peace be upon you, yes, yeah. you can yeah. say that in your own language. But when you say salam alaikum, that they show they it's think, deception. They think you are Muslim automatically. Yes. yes. That's he's why he's deceiving he said, them. Yeah, he uh, deceived them. That's other, why he said. Otherwise, they may thought you know, or may, they may knew that he was a, a you know a bishop or a priest or you know a Christian. So when he went to this mosque, they thought you know you have a chance now. To welcome this man yes. to to Ummah for Islam. Yes. So you have a chance to, to uh, make a Muslim, to, make a Muslim, to mm. give him da'wah to yeah. show that uh, you know we are we are welcoming people and yeah. uh, yes, come in. Yeah. They may have thought that, but yeah. if I go back to uh, overpowering, overpowering is a worldly word, yeah. and the power is for this world, and the power used. Well, we, who uses power? Satan uses power, Satan, yes. and his and uh, his uh, followers. Yes. So we don't use that um, uh, word of power or overpowering the world, but Muslim is. They are trying to conquer the world. Yes, that's their concept. But this is not our concept. So this priest or this man, he had wrong conception about Christianity. Yeah, and he doesn't he he doesn't know a lot about Islam, and he doesn't know a lot no. about his Bible, maybe. And he was standing in front of the congregation, how he was ashamed Christianity and Christ himself because yeah. the teaching of Christ is. To be kind and nice to everyone. Yeah. Love your enemy, as Shana just mentioned in the in the Bible, uh, uh, Matthew chapter five. Yeah. Love your when you love your enemy. What what was uh, what was well, listen? Yeah. Let, let me tell you this. Uh, when I first went to a, uh, a church, a church, you know, I used to go to mosque and I was Muslim. Yes. And I knew how Muslims were and what how, they used what they to do when do. they're there. So when you are there, you have to curse other people. You have to especially. Especially Christian and Jewish. Yeah. So when you are there, you are just praying for yourself and for your family and for your congregation or for your people. And but them. not outside. Mm. And you cannot even help them. You cannot give them no, sadaqah. Yeah. Yeah. You don't give them outside Muslims. You have to keep the sadaqah inside the uh, But they curse Islam. Christian they curse. and Jewish. So when I went to a uh, church and uh, it was earthquake in somewhere in a uh, uh, Muslim, Muslim world. Country, yeah, yeah. And uh, they were praying for that country. For the and the Muslims were, you know, uh, uh, badly, badly hit. The Christians were praying for this Muslim people. Our church was the church. praying for Yes. Yeah. And I thought, why they and have also, to... also, they also collect some... Yeah, why... Wait, yeah, later on. Yes. Why they have to yeah. uh, pray these people who hate them? Yes. That's my thinking. Yes. We used to curse yes. them. in every Friday, when uh, the... the the, the imam is on the pulpit. He has to curse them, Christians and Jews. Everyone. And said. now the you know the the priest is just standing there and praying for these uh, people who are you know badly hit by earthquake. Mm. So that changed my mentality of or thinking of Christianity yes. and who they are. And later on, when they finished, the uh, the yes. pastor or the priest stand, stood up and said, "We have to collect money for these people, send, these people, people to send you know that uh, that area of uh, earthquake." Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. that is unconditional love. Yes. They don't love you just as you are, uh, or you know, just uh, you are Christian, or you are this, Muslim, or you are that. Yeah. They help you because you are a human being. Yeah. Because Christ said, "Love everyone as I love you." Yes. Exactly. Amen. 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 And I think that this, like that, like you guys were saying, just this um, priest, 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 when he went to um, when he went to this mosque, saying "Assalamu alaikum," the guy must have just thought he's just a Muslim. Yes, a Muslim. maybe. Yeah. And that's the reason why he would help him, perhaps. Mm. That's why he said Muslims are brothers to Muslims. Yeah. Exactly. Even himself, so he the knew. priest himself. So he, he knew. knew when yeah. he went there, if yeah. he pretended to be like a Muslim, disguise yeah. so himself he, as a Muslim. He was deceiving the, the Muslim man. Is that allowed? It, it's not right though. So you have to say, I am this and this and that. My yeah. name is that and that. I want to stay here. Yes. But he disguised as a Muslim maybe as and they Muslim, went in. Yes. So yes. he deceived the poor Muslim as yes. well. So that's the wrong thing. Yes, so exactly. yeah. even when he said, when he said, um, uh, 
Yeah. 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 You cannot dismantle. You cannot force. Yeah, this force. We are not there. We're not here to dismantle anything. The work is for the Lord. Mm. We are here to just uh, uh, sow the seed. Yeah. We are reaching out to people and telling them the good news. And if they accept, that's it. Otherwise, they, they're gone. Yeah. But the Lord said himself, I want everyone to know the truth. Yes. Yeah. Everyone to be saved and know yeah. the truth. Yeah. Yeah. And we're going there and we are, we, we tell them. And even as we're sitting here, we tell them to come to Christ. If yes. they accept, that's okay. If they don't accept, that's up to them. Yes. But we are not dismantling. We, we, not, we don't have that. Uh, yeah. We're not that even power. defending ourselves. No. The, the Lord is defending us. Amen. Mm. So this is, you know, a, a wrong conception of Christianity. And he is, he was there to glorify in Islam. Maybe we don't know who he is. We don't know his intention. That's the intention, yeah. Yeah, yes. we're praying for him. And hopefully that this, this congregation, the people who are listening, that they're not led astray by this yeah. man. Yes. Who stood in front of them and telling, like, glorifying this religion that we well know yeah. is not this amazing religion where they help each other and they're so kind and whatever. What about when people leave Islam? What about people who um, are non-Muslims? How do they treat them? They say that yes. they're, they're the worst of creatures. Yes. They say if you leave Islam, you have to be killed. Yes. yes. What is any any of this is like... You this doesn't know all that. Why are you just highlighting, oh, they help each other? Is that the most important thing? That they yeah. help each other? Like anyone helps anyone. Yes. yes. Yeah, even 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 the, even, they, yeah, they help each other. Even the thief, they help each other. Help each other. Even, the even Hitler, people. yes, who killed so many Jewish, my direct in peace. He used to love his family, maybe. Yeah, exactly. And help them. So what? So does that make someone good? No. no. Whereas this ideology of Islam in like 929 says fight against those who do not believe in Allah. Yes. And then also Muhammad himself. In Sahih al Bukhari 6924, for example, saying he's been ordered to fight the people until they say none has the right to be worshipped by Allah. Mm-hmm. This is not something to be glorifying or saying, you know, they're good or they, they yeah, are wish or whatever. Yeah. I mean, in a way, I can understand if he's saying, like, he's trying to maybe, like, give them some sort of lesson or whatever, but the way he was wording it, saying, how can we dismantle that force and stuff? It's yes, like, but also, he's like, is lame. Lame and, and weak. And weak. Why Why you can't, Why you say that, brother? Why? Why? Because we're not here to be like, we are the strongest and we, we are, are the, by strong. force, forcing people yeah. to do things. Yeah. No. He wants us to think like Muhammad Hijab. You know, me is strong yeah. to say that, like the Muslims. They always like to win. They always like to fight. They always, and the Lord said, don't fight. The yes. fight is it's me. Mine. Yeah. It's yeah. mine. So the protection is from God. Brother, you need to repent to yourself and you need to also, in your congregation, say sorry because what you said, you talk about people. When you're giving lecture exactly. to your church, in front of the church, you have to say, uh, you, your example has to be from the Bible. You have to give the verse from the Bible. The Bible said, be meek. We be humble, yeah. be loving, kind, and love one another, and love your enemy, and pray those who persecute you. Yeah. That's what Christian teach. You're not supposed to go to the mosque and see people like a ooh like this and helping each other and come and calling Christian. You weak, you and this weak. and yeah. uh, you are horrible. Christian are the most nice people in the world. That's why Sheena even he seen himself when he used to go to the mosque. He used to see. People cursing and horrible and not helping. But when he comes to the church, he has seen our church. He's also his church now. Yeah. Who helped the Muslims in big way. And it doesn't matter if you're Muslim, if you're Christian, if you're atheist. God has made, he created all of us in his own image. He loves you so much. So brothers, repent, please. And stop what you're doing. Because now your video is getting uh, no, viral. viral and people, Muslims. Muslims are taking and saying, look this priest, what he's saying. And they are even saying now, oh, my Allah, I make him Muslim. It seems like you are almost Muslim. And it's, 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 actually, it's actually ironic because like he was saying, oh, this self-glorifying Christianity when this is the self-glorifying Islam. Yes. 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 That's, that's what he's glorifying they are Islam, yeah. glorifying Islam. Yes. And then um, he's, now the Muslims are taking this this um, video that's glorifying them. Yes. And spreading it. Look how good we are. Even yes. this, this priest is saying. This yes. priest is saying. So there you go. Like, that's just the the this stupid video. Like, Very yeah. stupid, brother. And the people, Muslims, are used to in, in against you and your congregation. Please wake up. Uh, ask God to forgive you. We, we pray for you and your congregation. But also, brother, careful when you're speaking, when you're teaching. Yeah. Please, biblical. The word of Jesus. Amen. Not the word of Muhammad. Not the word of uh, the church. Someone you have seen. Some Christian. Exactly. No. no. That's what we say. Yes. And we say the Muslims, please. 
Don't follow that footstep. Please leave yeah. Islam and come to Christ. Amen. Yeah, this is the only way to heaven. But Amen. yeah, so um, just special thanks to our Patreon and PayPal supporters. Yes. We thank you guys so much for um, supporting us. And if you want to support us further as well, you, the viewer who's watching right now, you can follow the links down below. And we appreciate you guys so much. Yeah, so if you want to uh, comment, you can do so down below. Let us know what you guys think. Yes. Like, share, you know, subscribe to us as well. And yeah, we love you guys so much. Yes. Take care. We'll see you next time. Yeah, we love you so much. My God bless you. Good yes. Say, yeah, Muslims. Leave Islam and come to Christ. Yeah. He is the only way to heaven. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 We love you. See you Maybe. soon. Bye-bye. Bye.